Hi there, I'm Ophir. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you what you can do with Rivery. So the main building block in Rivery is what we call a river. And there's three different types of rivers. We have source to target rivers, which extract data from a source and load it into a target. We have logic rivers, which perform workflow orchestration and transformations. And action rivers, which pulls or pushes data from any customer's API. Let's go ahead and look at source to target rivers. Rivery supports over 200 different out of the box, fully managed sources, such as marketing systems, analytics, CRMs, such as Salesforce and HubSpot, payment solutions, relational databases, unstructured SQL databases, as well as storage systems, REST APIs and webhooks. For example, here is a source to target river that pulls data from Facebook ads and then pushes it into a Snowflake data warehouse. One of the cool things about Rivery is that it automatically identifies the structure of incoming data, and then it will create the columns and tables as needed in the source destination. Rivery also provides version control of all the rivers, so you can automatically see, view, or revert back to previous versions if needed. Next, we have action rivers. Action rivers provide a really easy way to connect to any REST API, either as a source, as a target. For sources, it's great for connecting to data sources which are not provided out of the box. And for targets, it's great for pushing data to any API-based system, such as reverse ETL. Lastly, we have logic rivers. Logic rivers are used for workflow orchestration and transformations. For transformations, we can use either SQL for in-warehouse transformations or Python for more complex scenarios. Rivery also supports multiple steps, running steps in parallel, loops, conditional logic, and more. For example, here we have a logic river which pulls data from multiple sources in parallel, from Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, it then, in the next step, will run some SQL queries and so save the data back into Snowflake. And lastly, it'll combine all the data into query-ready insights. In addition to the different types of rivers we just looked at, Rivery also gives you tools to accelerate the development cycle and solutions management, starting with Rivery Kits. Kits are basically starter kits that provide a lot of out-of-the-box templates for many common use scenarios. For example, the river I just showed you earlier is taken from a rivery kit for the marketing analytics B2C to Snowflake kit. Each kit has all of the rivers, all of the connections, all of the variables, and all of the settings required to run that kit. You just literally click on Use Kit, and everything you need will be installed into your account. Once you've built your initial data pipelines and workflows, it's really easy to manage the entire development lifecycle using Rivery's environments and deployment packages. Rivery supports multiple environments. Each has its own rivers, its own connections, its own variables. So you can give each stage of your development lifecycle its own environment, such as production, dev, or staging. You then use Rivery's Deployment Manager to create deployment packages, which copy all of the elements you want from one environment to another. One of the cool things about environment variables is that they allow you to either use the same values across multiple rivers or across multiple environments, or you can use different values for the same rivers across multiple environments. For instance, a logs table could be used as a different table depending on which environment it's run in. If you have any questions, you can just go to our help section where you can either read our online documentation, you can open a support ticket if you have any questions. We're here for you and always happy to help. Thanks for watching.